Hello, future friends. Thank you for joining our show. Uh, we are Mistakes Being Made, a live play Dungeons & Dragons show from Portland, Oregon. Uh, if you're new to the show, um, this is not the greatest episode to jump in for, on, I'm going to be honest. It's going to be a fun episode. It's going to be our best episode ever. I explained that to Aaron uh, earlier tonight. Um, and it is not going to be an intro episode, I will tell you. Um, we are actually going back in time tonight to um, to a hanging plot line that happened uh, a couple weeks back. Yeah. Uh, we started a, a Vaziago and Craig's wild adventure, and we were going to get back to it, but uh, someone in my family had some health challenges, and we weren't able to shoot the episode. Um, so um, before we get into it, uh, I want to go through a couple of things. Um, one, if you're looking to connect with the show, um, all of our social media is being updated on every episode. Uh, we also have a YouTube page where all of our episodes can be found if you're a YouTube person. Um, you can also interact with us on Twitter at MBMRPG, and all of our social media information is in the pinned tweet there. Um, tonight, we wanted to talk a little bit about um, subscribing to the show. That helps us out. Um, if you've subscribed already through Twitch Prime, chances are, if you haven't resubscribed yet, your, your Twitch Prime memberships are um, expiring. So if you can renew and, and give us a little bit more wind in the sails, that'd be great. Um, lastly, we'd like to thank the following individuals for helping us make the show better. Thanks to Axe and Shield for your awesome combat risers. Thanks to Dwarven Forge for your amazing dungeon train that is seen on our show every single week. And thanks to Sirenscape for their amazing soundscapes, um, which only help to make our show better. Um, so tonight, we're doing something a little different, um, and we're going to go ahead and meet the players and their characters. We're going to start with Aaron tonight, because Aaron is playing the same character he was previously. Yeah. Aaron, tell us a little bit about your character. Yeah, I'm playing uh, the gnome illusion. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm playing Visago, the always trustworthy bard. All right. And Mike? Always trust Did this dwarf have... His name's Craig. This is Craig. Oh, this is Craig? This is Craig! Oh, I am playing Craig! <laughs> <laughs> See, I was not told I was playing Craig. I was sorry, playing... Sorry, sorry, saved your life. I was playing a dwarven wizard. Yeah. I had... Okay. Yeah, Craig was a wizard. Yeah. Craig? yeah. Craig is a wizard. Craig, Craig is a wizard. A, I get a big, a big G. All right, I'm Craig. Michael, and I'm playing Craig the dwarf. <laughs> yeah. Of Clan Rumbletide. Of Clan Rumbletide. And a uh, little side note on Craig of Clan Rumbletide. Oh, yeah. um, he was made up on the spot as a running joke from uh, from episode one. Uh, I don't know what you're talking so about. That is. Um, and yeah, he's come to life and he's now been played by two different players. So that's fun. Um, it's got and more I'm play sure, time. I'm sure the consistencies will be there. I'm it's sure. It's fine. Yeah, I'm there, sure there will be no. Uh, really and then seamless. also. To my right, we have... Howard. I'm Howard. I know that, and I'm happy about it. And I'm also playing a character named Jeffrew, who is a human monk who uh, who got kicked out of the monastery for always playing the bagpipes at night. You know, the first time he appeared in the game, he hadn't mentioned the bagpipes. It well, never came up, surprisingly. <laughs> he probably didn't tell you his whole name, either. It's... True. What's Jeffrey's full it's, name? Uh, it's Jeffrey McPherson, Cameron Thomas, McDonald, Fitzgerald. It's very. Spotty. What was that again? <laughs> it's uh, it's Jeffrey McCullahan, McDoolahan, Thomas, Fitzgerald, Fitzpatrick. Excellent. Oh man, I can't wait to keep a counter of how many times that name changes. Ding. I can. We're up to two. <laughs> like, I can do that. Um, <laughs> So, not that it matters, but I am going to do a little retconning. Um, the first ep episode of this adventure, we uh, said that Emmerich's Hold was a, a population of 5,000. Uh, that's really small. Um, and I wanted it to be a small city. So, um, yeah, Emmerich's Hold has a population of 10,000. To be fair, I think on that episode we were like 5,000. But it seems like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the, so Emmerich's Hold is detailed in 2nd uh, edition, so there is about 200 years between 2nd edition and 5th edition, so it's grown in, in, in size. Um, it's done well. Yeah, so let's recap a little bit, um, fill in some players who may not have watched the session. 
um, on what happened uh, mm -hmm. last last time. So uh, Vadiago and Craig were given a message asking them to return to Emmerich's hold. Uh, due to a secret code in the message, Vaziago knew the message came from his old master, Thaven. Yeah. Um, upon returning to Emmerich's hold, uh, Craig and Vaziago met a young fighter named Jeffrew in a fighting pit at the Fairwind Tavern, um, one of the nicer taverns in town. They also learned that uh, Thaven had racked up a debt of 5,000, or no, 50,000 gold yeah. pieces uh, to Yuanti at the Sleeping uh, Serpent Tavern. The uh, Yuanti required Thaven to steal an item called the Horn of the Merfolk from a pirate lord named Volgrum the Mighty. Um, Thaven revealed that he had racked up this debt on purpose in order to get the Yuanti to have him steal their item so that he could also steal uh, some an item from Volgrum, a an item called eel skin armor and that's where we left off um at the end of the episode volgrum or uh, uh thaven revealed that volgrum was a fire giant mm -hmm. which um was kind of hinted at yeah. as uh craig went and got some uh blueprints for the compound and he as he was reviewing them noticed that they were of a different size and like the the scale just seemed off. Yeah. Um, a couple of other things because it may come up. Um, the Yuanti wanted to make sure that you were doing what you were supposed to, so they did send someone with you. Um, the Yuanti female that is currently with you, making sure that you're working on their plan is her name is Sakesh, and she is what's known as a pure blood Yuanti, which means that she can pass for human. Um, better than most. Yeah, we didn't take snake arms. You didn't take snake arms. Um, you also didn't take uh, Yuanti Golem, mm -hmm. um, which was an option. Yeah. Um, it's just a British Golem that asks if you want tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yep. Exactly. Um, and then, um, as I said before, so Craig, Craig had a couple right. of ideas about how to go about this. One of those was he looked into whether or not there were caverns underneath um, the area, and there are. The caverns are home to um, a community of dragon turtles, which dragon turtles are gigantic. Like, they can take down a ship. Mm -hmm. um, just just yeah, in case. They're enormous. Um, and he also, so he also got the blueprints from a dwarven stone mason um, to kind of just get the layout of the land. Um, so, we pick back up, and um, you have three days to accomplish this task. Um, and how do you how do you want to proceed? Uh, so, if I remember from last session, the last thing we did was we scouted out the front gate. I think we were there. Yeah, I think you guys stole some uniforms and were street sweepers or something. Yeah, like we that. were street sweepers, uh, so we could check out the front gate. And I think we were gonna check out to see the traps on the front gate in case if we needed to escape out the front, mm -hmm. we could get out without running into all of the traps they make, so you don't come in from the front. Sure. Um, so that is the last thing I remember. I know we wanted to get that done. <coughs> okay, I don't think you actually <coughs> did that. No, we I were getting we, set up yeah, for that. We that was the cliffhanger. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we have to go sweep the streets? Is there like a skill check maybe for that? Yeah. No, I think you just blend in and maybe you make a deception wait, check. Hold up. You didn't take street sweep? I, no. I told you one thing about Pro your character. Put take street sweep. and bagpipes was <sighs> the one I took. I, oh, man. This is what I get. I try to give you extra I can bags see and, and pipes. I can yeah. need <laughs> we need to be able to clean <laughs> bags and pipes. <laughs> <laughs> All I know how to sweep is the leg. Well, that's what we get for trying to cheat on character creation. Oh, well. I mean, we'll get around it, I'm sure. Um, so we were going to check out that, and then we had to figure out if we could get to the tunnels, which is through the dragon turtles. Okay. Um, and then I had gone into the tavern, and I had talked to some of the crew, and I found out the only people that go into the house, I think, are captains of the other ships in this fleet. Um Typically, so yeah, you did meet up with some crew yeah. of one of Volgram's sh ships, and 
Um, the people that do get invites are important people, not yeah. scurvy dogs of the of mm. the pirate ship. Yeah. Um, that would not necessarily preclude you from gaining access there. Yeah. Um, you were just talking in the the lowest of the low tavern to yeah. the most likely cantina of yeah. this this place. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so. yeah, and it wasn't an excuse uh, to drink for, to drink and play pirate darts. <laughs> it was not an excuse. Nope. 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 It was all very professional and part of a plan. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, so do you wanna? pick up with the street sweeping because I think we had gotten the uniforms and we had we gotten the uniforms. There. Sakesh was able to get you the uniforms. Yeah. Now are you bringing Sakesh with her snake eyes with you? I mean um, maybe. I, I, I think so. I think she's probably good at not looking at people directly. <laughs> uh, I think she would pick that skill up by now. At yeah. least I hope she would. <laughs> and uh, we were going to check out the house from the front. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, I will go ahead and um, to just put on the uniforms is going to be fine. Um, mm -hmm. Are you going to disguise yourselves at all? Uh, uh, I will at least try to. Yeah, I believe. specifically uh, the tiefling amongst you yeah. is very distinctive. Yeah, um, I was hoping to put on a cap. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, you know go out. Maybe put on some makeup. Like a, a Rastamine cap, so it's big and it covers the entirety of your heart? Shama. <laughs> okay. I'm All from right. those other islands over there. Irie. You know, yeah. <laughs> Come on. You know all right. <laughs> Are you going to affect gonna, an accent? I'm going to commit, apparently, to an accent oh, for God. the sweet tree permission. I apologize <laughs> in advance for what is about to happen. I mean, okay. listen. There's nothing wrong with a good accent. I just... <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to know that if the accent's bad, that's me simply playing the character. Right. Who's yeah. not exactly. as good as accents as I am, um, you know, because I'm a professional. Right. Well, this is a fantasy world, so yeah. that could be a authentic. It could be very authentic, for all we know. Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, who am I to <laughs> so, um, so you you put on that. Why don't you make a disguise so check for yourself? Is you there? Have, I was looking. Is there a uh, disguise? It would be deception. It was deception? Okay, um, cool. Do you hmm. have a disguise kit? I do have a disguise Okay, kit. so you can add your proficiency um, to that. Fifteen. Okay. Um, and for our purposes here, um, what? how does this disguise go? You've got a hat. Yeah, so do I... You, do you color your skin at all? Yeah, I, so I'm thinking I'm going to use, like, powder to kind of make it lighter. Uh, okay. I don't think I'm going to pass off as human, but I'm going to try and pass off as, like, maybe slightly elvish. Okay. Um, a pink elf. Yeah, <laughs> pink elf. Uh, and then he's got the hat on to cover up, and then he's got his sleeves all the way rolled up and it buttoned up so none of his tats are showing. Gotcha. How hot is it out today? <laughs> it's uh, so hot. I mean, it's... it's what is the it's weather? It's in yeah. the, the Faerun equivalent of the Mediterranean, or not Mediterranean, the Caribbean, so oh, it, yeah. is, it's hot. it is warm most of the time. Um, although... If you remember, so the festival of surf happened in at the start of fall, yeah. so it kind of, I mean, yeah. it's not the worst time of year to yeah. be buttoned It's a up. little uncomfortable, but so it's you, not unbearable. So you guys Florida make your way. Are you guys all sucks. traveling together yeah. in disguise? Uh, I think we are. With Sakesh. We okay. Yeah. With Sakesh. With Sakesh. Well, yeah, we're a cleaning crew. Yeah. Um, and to recap what Sakesh looks like, so she looks like um, she is... Beautiful. Um, mm -hmm. She has a, uh, a haircut that is dark raven hair pulled up into kind of a top knot, and then it, on the sides it's shaved. Um, she does have snake eyes, um, which is kind of the hint that she is Yuanti. And then at certain points on her body, like maybe her elbows and like the base of her neck or something some like that, scales. has some scales. Um, so. She can pass for human under not so much scrutiny. Like if she's wearing a visor. Yeah, yeah she wears the Jordi LaForge. But oh, <laughs> crap. You started this, Howard. 
<laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> See, it was all my plan. Last session when I made sunglasses canon in this universe, it was all for this moment. No, she wears sunglasses. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, clearly. Um, and no one sense. comments because it's it's sunny. Yeah. So Of course she's wearing sunglasses. So, I mean, they're rare, but they're not that rare. Right, right. Um, they're basically just... You know, cloudy monocles. Yeah. Cloudy well, she wears. Uh, she calls them goggles of the night. Yeah. Which, Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you guys make Her your way. Her future's so bright. She's got to wear goggles of the night. You guys yeah. make your way to the nicer. For a street sweeper. <laughs> that also right. <laughs> the nicer quarter of um, the residential district of Emmerich's Hold, yeah. um, and when you arrive there, um, you're met with no. Uh, no. Nobody's stopping you at this point. Um, they assume you belong. You've got the, the uniforms. Did you also bring like brooms and yeah. desk bins and stuff like that? I, I think brooms. And I, I think I think it's brooms. And then like as we we're going, someone like brought up we didn't have a dustpan, so like someone grabbed one from something <laughs> as we were going past. Sure. Not the best dustpan, but there's a dustpan. Sure. Sure. Uh, okay. Can make so a thing. here you yeah, are, yeah. Um, and you had—I believe you had the address for uh, Volgram's estate—and mm -hmm. um, you make your way there. Mm -hmm. uh, Volgram's estate is is an estate in the very real sense of the word. Um, there is a stone uh, fence that would wouldn't necessarily be called like a castle wall, but it is um, probably about. 15 feet high um, with some crenellations on top in case um, there's an attack. Um, as you, so you can get to a viewing point where you can kind of view over the fence and you see that there are grounds. Um, there's a very large uh, main manor um, that now that you know that he's a giant, makes sense why it's so big. Um, there is also a uh, few buildings on the property that are between the grounds and the, uh, or the manor itself and the wall. Um, so, um, there you go. Uh, are there guards outside the gate, I'm guessing? There are not guards outside the gate. Uh -huh. um, there are guards walking the wall. Okay. Um, and it looks like there are two guards that are stationed fairly close to the front gate in case somebody needs to be let in or let out. Yeah. Do we uh, go with uh, plan uh, Bazago bullshits his way into the uh, gate to talk to people? Takers? Well, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> not going to bullshit your way in? <laughs> okay. So, so Bazago will go up to the gate. Okay. Hey, man. Hey. Yes, sir? Hey, man. Uh, have you heard about our cleaning services? <laughs> Um, well, we've got. I, I don't know where that went. <laughs> I don't know where and it went it's either. Gone. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it went from Jamaican leprechaun. <laughs> Jamaican leprechaun. Um, they. Is that what just happened? A little bit. They um, they look at you a little quizzically and they say, "Aren't you supposed to just sweep the streets?" Yeah, but did you not know about their extra services? I didn't. Um, why don't you tell me more about your extra services? Oh man, we offer a wide range of extra services. We're talking uh, music. Land. We can play music. Some people provide music, although not often. So and there's starts a look. playing on her loop. <laughs> <laughs> we we offer entertainment. We take landscaping. Nice clear. And I, he'll like go up, and he's like, "Let me look. Let me look at this grass." And he'll, he'll like squat down and he'll look at it, and he'll be like. Who did this last? Um, the master's grounds man? Oh. And tell me, did the master's grounds camp and learn how to cut grass from the battlefield? This is <laughs> uneven. Look at the, it'll point out two blades of grass and one just slightly grown up and he's like, imperfection. Okay. Why don't you make a deception? Thing? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but is the grass really uneven? Because. Mm. <laughs> or is it just a rock? <laughs> Which he points there? at this rock 12? and this blade 12? of grass. Uh, it's possible. I mean, yeah. you, the, the guy's like, yeah, I can see your point. There's a there's a patch over there. And there. he points on the back and says, yeah. I can see there's some patchiness. Yeah. Um, you know, the Seneschal usually makes the deals. Do you want do you want me to get him? Well, I mean, I don't think hey, you're making any boss. deals. Mm. Yes. Ah. Yeah. yeah, man. What if? 
That way we don't have to make a deal You're right away. Right. You're right. I should remember. I should remember the charity of my home and my mama. <laughs> he turns by and he's like, "We will, we will clean up this area for you for free, and then you can have for someone, free. someone come in for free." That is right. Is this on the inside of the wall or outside of the wall? Because right now you're on the outside of the wall. On so. the, I'm gonna point out inside. I'm gonna look at a part that's like unkempt. Okay. And I'll be like, "We'll clean that part right there." And then that way, when your boss comes down, I have a better chance to make a deal with the effect, huh? Uh huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, why don't you, because um, you've already gotten him a little bit, yeah. um, why don't you go ahead and make a deception check with advantage? Nice. Oh, I like that one. But we're really going to landscape for Wow, three. 16 and a 17. Uh, okay. <laughs> we, we have to at this point. <laughs> 26. 26, okay, so. You guys somehow have talked your way in with dustpans and brooms mm -hmm. to landscaping. Mm -hmm. And he says, okay, come on in. And he says, hey, um, Jeb. Uh, not Jeb. That is a completely different character. Yeah, he, that Jeb. guy. Yeah, J-E-B. Like, he doesn't stab as much as Jeb does. Um, he says, why don't, you, um, why don't you open the door for these, the, the gates for these fine... Gentlemen? Yeah, okay. man. <laughs> groundskeepers will be fine. Okay. <laughs> These groundskeepers, why don't you open up the gate for them? And so Jib's like, what? shouldn't we call the Seneschal? And uh, Don't worry, we're giving a free sample. Of groundskeeping? Yeah. Okay. And he opens the gate, wide open, <laughs> directly for you. I'll be keeping some of what I find inside, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, so the guy that you've been talking to that's yeah. on the wall, he's like, go ahead and do it. I mean, if do you, you keep, uh, percussions on site, does there like a groundskeeper quarters or? Well, the groundskeeper has, did you not, <laughs> did you not have stuff what, to do, do you, the work? Do you not keep your own supplies? This is a estate, is it not? It is an estate, but if then you're, by if obviously you're you would keep for, your own. I'm going to start sweeping uh, like <laughs> next to the grass. Like if there's a dusty patch sure. of like dead sure. grass, I'll start I'm, sweeping. I'm going to lay on the ground yeah. with okay. my knife and just start <laughs> yeah. trimming grass. Okay. If I had you, knives, maybe you, I could do that. But Do you have any illusion spells? Maybe you could... I do. I would thought about making yeah. a topiary. <laughs> <laughs> you totally can. That would be awesome. <laughs> just a minor illusion to topiary. So, and uh, and I, I go, this yeah. is out of the grass clippings. Yeah. Yeah, man, don't you... Usually they just let us we'll into this shed. Well, yeah, but you're you're bad mouthing the groundskeeper because he's can not. We, but not his can tools. We make a not his tools. That looks like the tools have no the emotion. Let's they they simply caress for a master's hands. He's like, I'll tell you what, I I'll escort you to the groundskeeper's building. Yeah, and man, that's all I ask. You your your crew uh -huh. of street sweepers who also do groundskeeper work and yeah. music. Yeah. They all, they're going to have to stay here with Jeb. Okay, that's fine. Okay. But so in exchange. I like you, Jeb. <laughs> in exchange, you're going to have to listen to me tell tales of the homeland, which I miss so much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole time, can I make a deception check to just bore him to the point where he starts Absolutely. tuning me out? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Completely. Uh, that's uh, 18. Okay, he is super bored. So, like, I start off and I'm like, back in the aisles. Oh, so many times my mama would say and keep going. And as soon as I start dropping, like, weird hints in, like, I'll be like, oh, and the dragon turtles that used to nest on the shore of... And as soon as I see he's not off, I'm like, all right, we're good. <laughs> and I'll just, I'll just start spreading bullshit. So, um, so he takes you to um, the groundskeeper's... Uh, quarters and he says, Cleave, this guy says your work is shit. Give him your tools. <laughs> and you see uh, Cleave come out, and Cleave is like a, a wood elf. Uh -huh. And she's <laughs> really hurt by, yeah. by that. And he's like, How dare you? Where are you from, elf? Oh, oh <laughs> elf? you don't know where I'm from. And I go, Tell him, Jib, <laughs> tell him the story of my people. He says, Jib was at the gate. <laughs> is that not? The, I thought I was talking to the guy at the gate. <laughs> no. Whoever this guy no, I was talking fine. to. Whoever. Yeah. It's, it's Jib. Not yeah. Jib. 
No, nah, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> he can get his name wrong. Um, I but... mean, it creates characters. Next session, we're going to be calling Jib and Jeb, and they're going to be dual rogues. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he tries to repeat back. He's like, Dragon Turtles and the ecology of the dodo bird. And I, you know, uh, to be quite honest, I didn't get the name of the land that you're from. I will not repeat my life story again for people who dare not listen. So Cleve, uh, he gathers some tools in a wheelbarrow and he yeah. brings them back to the gate where yeah. you guys are at. Um, and he is going to basically just watch you and pout um, while you do his job for him, <laughs> which he believes he's done rather well. You see, the problem is you care too much. <laughs> <laughs> you, you try to perfect it like it's a machine, but it's not a machine, brother. It's not a machine. It's a wave and a flow. Okay. And I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna start talking to him like mumbo jumbo landscaping shit. Sure. And while I'm doing it, I'm basically gonna start going like, I mean, for like a caressing heel. Do you have a caress? Like I'm just gonna start like randomly throwing in like, okay. oh, cause I mean around the corner, I'm sure you have this. And yeah. then he's like, no, I don't have that. Like, what? <laughs> and right. see if I can get anything from him that way. Okay. Uh, do you want to do that as a? Um, do you want that still to be deception, or do you want that to be a something else? Uh, you know, I mean, this is your your ball game here. I, I don't know what you're. All right, are you I'm trying gonna, to get information? Why don't from you, him? you okay. deceive him, and I'll assist. Okay, sure. Sounds good. Advantage. Uh, you can keep that. Okay. Uh, natural twenty nine. <laughs> okay. So he begins to cry as as he, <laughs> as you. Clearly show that you know more about, about landscaping about landscaping than he does. This is all coming from this like one time Visago got drunk with a landscaper, <laughs> like filled in with random bullshit. So um, he, so the information that you get from this conversation is yeah. that there are. He says it's so hard to, to. Keep the keep the grounds when there are uh, open access to the sewers in in the different buildings, because um, you know, yeah, toiletries, and yeah, whatnot. Um, and he says, I told them that six feet was not enough. When you have sewers, you need to have enough room for the trees to grow. <laughs> And I and then he just goes on and on and on about these sewers. Um, so yeah, brother, they never listen to us, do they, brother? Never, never, never. Can you show me where those are? Oh yeah. Maybe yeah. I can. Maybe I can help you with uh, shoring up that stone. Oh work. yeah. Oh, you that don't would know make about sense because, brother, that's his specialty right there. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's a dwarf, right? So yeah. like dwarves and stone. <laughs> hey, that's racist. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so he, ah. Cleve goes off on his own, which successfully makes it so that he, you guys don't have to perform, do a perform landscape, mm. however Whew. that would be. Man, I um, wish, I'm glad, because I told you to take perform landscape, but no one listens. <laughs> no, hey, I, wouldn't that just be knowledge major? I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm proficient in deception, so I feel uh, like that's yeah. as good as it's going to get. <laughs> in performance landscaping. And my 11 charisma. Yeah. I mean, I'm better than average looking guy. Yeah. By yeah. half of a point. Half of a point. <laughs> so he takes you off, um, and he says each one of these buildings has some kind of privy aspect to them. Um, and mm -hmm. then... Privy access point? Privy. <laughs> In each building? Um, I understand like one or two maybe. Um, and then he says, but there are there are grates, as you can see over here, and he points out one, and mm. uh, over behind that building that um, have access to the sewers because um, if something backflows or overflows, you want to make sure that you the city watch can, or the city maintenance crew, like you yourselves, mm -hmm. can get here and take care of it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so he points right. out a couple of locations that you can note. Do you okay. Want, 
Yeah. On your blueprints. Yeah. Cool. So now, okay, that's what I was going to ask if we can mark them down so that way we. Well, Mike, what's yeah. your intelligence, Mike? Uh, seventeen. Yeah. So yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> like you are not. So like I would. I'll, think... I'll have. I mean, Craig will start drawing a map yeah. of sure. the grounds and be like. Yeah. So the sewers go in this direction? Because oh, I need to know how to shore it up accurately. They're all over the place, really. Why wouldn't they just make one straight pipe? And... I don't know. I'm not a city planner. I just try to keep the ground. They, overwork, they even... overcharged you and they ruined your land. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. And I pat him on the back. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, so how we'll, much we'll further fix. do you want to take this ruse? I, I think at that point, uh, he gets up and he's like, but I, I came in expecting an overpaid, pompous, uh, just someone who doesn't respect landscaping. And I'll look him like deep in the eyes and I'll be like, you brother, you respect it. So I'll do it's this for you. I cry a little bit. I, I, I fake it crying. I go, <laughs> I, go so back, I go back to the islands. I visit my mama for at least a month. But when I come back in town, you ask, you ask for Brasavi. Brasavi. <laughs> you ask for Brasavi, and I'll, I'll come back, and I'll, I'll make this land sing. Okay. Okay. Uh, why don't you make a persuasion check? Yeah. This is just for the final send off. Uh, okay. Uh, so that's going to be a 16. 16. So yeah, he's he's looking forward to it. Absolutely. Yeah. He can't wait to it. He's like, do you have a sending stone that we can exchange information on? Brother. Are you on Are you on ground space? Oh, brother. <laughs> but I don't trust ground space. <laughs> you on grounder. grounder. That's a better way. Yeah. <laughs> You're on grounder. Take Are you on grounder? <laughs> and then I'm going to totally play out that he's like Brasavi don't trust no ground or company to keep Brasavi's ground keeping secrets safe. I'm a low key. So while you're here, why don't you make, why doesn't everybody, and I will go ahead and make one for Sakesh too, yes. a, um, either, depending on what's better for you, mm -hmm. a perception check or an investigation check. Investigation. Oh. One of my best skills. Okay. Seven. Seven. <laughs> Sweet. I, I got to get that two in there right away. You notice that your map is <laughs> quite nice. Mm hmm. Um, it's not to scale. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, you notice that there are quite a few guards as you're walking around this area. Um, you count maybe an, upwards of 15 guards, but you don't get an accurate count. Um, mm. And you see. That there, in addition to Cleve, there are several other um, servants that appear on the grounds. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. How uh, how Jeffrey, Jeffrey gets a count of twenty guards on the grounds, um, and a about fifteen servants that um, serve from time to time. You also um, spot what you. Th believe is a unique individual because he is a dwarf who is on fire but appears to be perfectly fine with that be being the case and he's walking around giving orders to people and um, it looks like you would think that that might be the seneschal that people are talking about i bet he's the boss because he's the only one who can fire people Oof. <laughs> <laughs> So, do you guys, do you guys make case out of here before the jig is oh, up? Oh, 100%. <laughs> okay. Um, what did you want to do next? I'll make a topiary and then leave. <laughs> yeah. Just An illusionary min topiary. Minor, yeah. Out of the grass clippings. Oh. Just, yeah, just, wow. That's, that's for you guys. And then I just... Is that Steve it? is like, that was amazing. <laughs> How did you do that? Years of practice. I didn't think dwarves were... They teach that on the islands. Yeah, man. All right, thanks, guys. No problem. You remember, one month you asked for Brasavi in the port. Yeah, that's right. And then, we'll a, do. And then a minute later, the topiary goes away. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I really want to just come back and find this like poor groundskeeper. He's like, I'll never find him again. <laughs>
He's gonna be broken hearted. Yeah. He probably <laughs> drops it accidentally and then the illusion fades and yeah. like, oh. oh. As soon as he tries to pick up the, the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what are you guys doing next? I'm getting out of this get up uh, okay. first. You might oh. want to stay in it. If we're gonna go in some sewers, <laughs> and he like rolls up the sleeves of the You're already in coveralls. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I do think the sewers. I was also gonna say maybe the sewers is probably the next best bet to check out. I'm gonna okay. put on my armor, which is nothing. <laughs> so you're naked. Awesome, Grace. Cool. I'm going to Great. take off all my clothes, <laughs> put them in a bindle. Now I'm in a na my natural state. <laughs> I'm ready to fight, guys. <laughs> That's what you want to be, is naked in a sewer. Do you get advantage on intimidation checks? I hope so. You also get uh, a disadvantage on saving throws mm. against <laughs> Felt Peter. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I guess I'll keep on my overalls. Uh, okay, so... Um, you guys... Are you guys headed straight to the sewers? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... Um, surprisingly, um, the sewers don't have necessarily the easiest of access points because, um, you know, criminals like to use sewers for nefarious deeds. I, would I have a plan for this. About that. I have a plan for this. Yeah? All we have to do is go to the pizza place and find out what grates they use to deliver pizzas to yeah. when pizzas are ordered to when, be delivered to the sewers. When the teenage uh, mutant dragon turtles. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna go with Ninja oh. Turtles, but <laughs> yours is better. Why um, can't we have a game of Ninja Turtles? <laughs> so as they're you're looking monks. around, kind of they're making your way monks. around the district, There's one there are there are are access ports in the um, in this into the sewers on the streets. Yeah. Um, they typically will have a um, a grate that uh, is locked. Well, that that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, past that. I'll, I'll, I'll look at our uh, sneaky friend there and be like, Sakesh? Hey. Yeah. Uh, okay. She can try. I've got a crowbar. Uh, I've got a crow that, and a bar. That could also Ooh. work. Minor illusions. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Just so. Dude, like, I got a key. She. What? It's a very elaborate and, key. And I look have these tools, mm. so. Here, I'm, go ahead. She, she yeah, pulls out her own thieves tools, <laughs> and she Damn, tries to, every time. to um, pick the lock, and yeah. she's like, um, guys, there's something up with this, this lock. It's, um, it must be magical or something, because it is not. Like, I tried to get it open, and I, uh, there's no way. Or now, uh, just to set the scene before we continue mm -hmm. on with this, I would assume that you guys are kind of blocking yeah, for sure. yeah. you. Yeah. Um, but there are people just walking up and down the streets because it's like the middle of the day. Yeah. Um, so, what what is happening next? She is she has tried to make a roll to unlock the the lock. Let the me grate. take a look at that there. Oh, I I mean it's magic, so I. I well, it's fine. I'll just take a look. Okay. What do you want me to do with my hands? She kind of holds them up like this. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take my spot and I'll do what you were just okay. doing? Okay. <laughs> All right. And my hands, should I? I'll just put them in my pockets. Do that. Okay. <laughs> Unless you wanted to give me a hand. No. So we're just in the middle of the. So I'm going to make a perception. In the middle of the day. Middle of the day, middle of the street. But you are. It's not the. I, I'm assuming we wouldn't do it in the middle of the street. We like chose the busiest. It's not the middle yeah. of the street. Yeah. All of, it's kind of like storm gutters. Yeah. Um. But I'm, I'm not casting knock. Yeah. Why don't you, why don't you call for your lost cat? Yeah. Your okay. cat's down the sewer. Yeah, we need to get well, the cat. Are, you guys are also dressed as municipal yeah. workers, so that it's we, not out of the ordinary. What do you mean you forgot the key? <laughs> <laughs> I well, didn't like forget the too. key. <laughs> I'll be very frank. I was at the tavern. I didn't have a drink. And I was at the tavern. Okay. What were we talking about? <laughs> I think you were at the tavern. What um, is a uh, pick I, lock? Is I set I, your I, proficiency I flip plus the bucket decks. over. Yeah. I climb up the bucket, yeah. and then I stop oh, it. Oh, okay. So I'm <laughs> proficient with these tools. Proficient so, with so these I tried tools, so hard. Okay, perfect. Yes. So uh, that's only a 
12, anyways. Uh, a 12 is enough. Oh, good. Yeah, it just clicks right over. All right, so I, as we're arguing, distracting, he's like, I, <laughs> I'm got, the one brought the key. She got a five. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, I think. <laughs> oh, you had the key. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. Uh, I told you. I got it. I'm fine. <laughs> I, I was at, was at the tavern. I, You're so fired when we get back. Didn't have a drink. <laughs> didn't have a drink. drink. Before we get too far, so you've got Sakesh with you. Do you mm -hmm. have Thaven with you as well, or no? Mm, I figured we had Thaven with us when we went in the disguise get up, because that's kind of his thing too. Sure. I know we got Thaven with us. I mean, that's what I'm here So, okay. I just want to make sure that yeah. I'm aware of who is, who who's, is who's where. There. Yeah. Okay, so you guys... I don't know where we are. Um, are we there? Is that, is that me? That is the, that is the that's grounds, the, but okay. you guys are off the <laughs> map a little bit. Um, we're over there. We're going in the sewers. Yeah. So, you go in, you, you, it smells, because it's the sewers. Mm, and but you open the grate, and do you put little cones up so yeah. that yeah. no one falls into the sewer? Yeah. yeah. Sure. No. Okay. No? No, I let them Safety. go down and then I pull it shut behind us, but okay. I keep the lock with me. Okay. All right. So you're now in the sewers. Good to know. Uh, how, like, I'm not sure walking in the direction through. of the... Yeah. yeah. Switch over to I already did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure walking in the direction of the... Okay. The grounds. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, that's pretty easy. Yeah. Like, they're... <laughs> tunnels and they run pretty pretty straight there is a couple of sections where um, they divert and divert again that kind of thing um, does anybody in this group have survival mm, I have I have two points of survival okay no I have a wisdom bonus same here <laughs> okay. um, oh uh, 21 one, well, I rolled the 19. Okay, so you start making your way back, um, and you are easily able to track trace your way back. <laughs> you guys um, have never tried to get home in the sewers before. Best <laughs> <laughs> way. Um, no. Aaron, why don't you roll a uh, d6 for me? D6? Yeah. Six. Six? Um, okay, so you come across a, as you're just about to reach the manor, you come across a particularly foul uh, stench. Uh, a particularly foul stench fills this portion of the sewers. It appears to be the majority of the drains um, have been clogged with debris, um, and the water here um, steadily raises from ankle to knee to waist high. Oh, we got our equipment though, so we can like just take care of it because it's our job. No, we, could, we were faking that. Yeah, yeah, we could definitely sweep up the sewage. <laughs> you can push it around a little bit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a push broom, right? We, know like yeah. we <laughs> get in the bucket and then just paddle out like it. I imagine we have one giant sweep so, room and then we have one of those like little comical yeah, like rooms little... for theaters. like <laughs> And like a tiny dust. So let's, yeah. let's uh, recount the, the people who have dark vision in the party. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike, you have dark vision? Uh -huh. Aaron, you have dark vision? Yep. I am definitely you, a human. You're a human. <laughs> Um, well, let's light a David, let's light a torch in a sewer where there's totally light a torch. there's no methane or anything. There's no, no gas here. So, um, uh, nope. Sakesh has dark vision, and Thaven also has dark vision. So it's, uh, it's just me. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess it is dark. I it is, feel like I'm a bit in the dark. Daytime, so it's not pitch black right. in yeah. the sewer. Because there's grates. Yeah. So why doesn't everybody Nash make grates. a perception check and Excellent. you can make a perception check with disadvantage? Hooray! Oh, I'll take that one, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was right. Okay. 17. 17? 12. 12. 7. 7. Um, okay. So, so um, I guess light on his toes. <laughs> Craig and oh, Vizago, you notice uh, a tentacle reach up out of the middle of the pool of water and like pull some debris back underwater. Uh, I'm gonna go with an Arcana check on it. Okay. That's a natural twenty-five. A natural twenty-five. That's an Odiug. Um, definitely. Yeah, you. <laughs> you. Uh, you're familiar with Odiugs. Yeah. Um, and they they're actually good. welcomed in city sewers because yeah. they eat trash. Yeah. Yep. Um, and it appears that one has made a lair just before the manor. Um, okay. So 
we need to get a bunch of trash and feed this thing. And so it thinks we're friends. Maybe? I don't know. I mean, I've never tried to make friends with one before. With a natural 25, you'd also know that they will pretty much eat whatever anything. they can get their tentacles on. Yeah. So, unless you shut down all the bla uh, all the trash compactors on the sector. On the, so on the maintenance yeah. level? Yeah. And then they just kind of toy with you a bit. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I'll get corrected out. on whatever level that is. Yeah, you know, I mean, Doug will tell you mm -hmm. exactly <laughs> what level it is. Um, so the tension level. Mm -hmm. So, to give you an idea, um, sounds of combat in this area with uh, open sewer grates above you mm -hmm. is going to be heard. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. going to draw some attention. It's going to draw some attention. Uh, but I'm pretty stealthy. stealthy. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, they could sneak past, right? Sure. Uh, well, Everybody. What are the try. senses of an Odiug? Yeah. Um, let me see. Because I know all there is to know about Odiugs. Mm -hmm. um, it it has dark vision mm -hmm. to 120 feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it does not have like scent or anything, which okay. makes sense because you you don't want scent in a sewer. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was I mean, more thinking about like blind sight. Uh, right? No, it, yeah. it has. Um, I guess eyes. Okay. I don't know how it has eyes. On its little things. I don't know. Yeah. Um, we could try sneaking past, and I can also try casting sleep on it if we think it's going to have us. Uh, I don't know. Color spray work. it. Um, color spray you know is probably going to make sense. You know that there is um, I mean, that's like a hit points <laughs> on sleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, with Craig's 25, he can tell you that um, it's probably it's beyond. Oh, it's big one? Um, just huh. regular Odiugs. Are They're like large. Yeah. Aren't they? Are they large or huge? They're large and. Um, they, they have some hit points to right. them. Yeah, because 6010 is the range of color spray, for instance. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. But that's probably not even enough to knock an Odiug. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. It has, I will say this, it has 12 hit dice. Yeah. Oof. Okay. That's, that's rough. Hey, 34 of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine that. Well, and there's five of you, I so. Know. So we really yeah. have the advantage. You do. Yeah. Hmm. To be fair, I did check to see, is an Odiog outside of the party level? No, it's not. So <laughs> so I'm thinking casting fog. How Wait, how wide are the sewers? 20 feet? Uh, so the sewer that you're that you're leading into is, or the sewer tunnel that you're leading yeah. into is about 15 feet wide. And it's 10 feet wide. And then the area that it is in is... It's fairly sizable, and it has blocked off all of the passageways from it. Uh, so it is probably looking about 40 feet per side. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So fog cloud's 20-foot radius. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So, so if you put it in the middle, yeah. 120 yeah. feet. Yeah. Will it go, go up and out, or is that... Up. Yeah, it goes. It out, fills out the great twenty yeah. foot radius spread from wherever it's centered. So if I put it on the how water, yeah. Right? Um, well, it was like six how feet high under. Up is the great? It was six feet to the sewers. Um, this section was a little bit deeper, so because. Okay. Um, I'm just wondering if he casts if he fog cloud, is it, is it going to go up the into gate. the streets? It's getting close. Yeah. But it's not it's not a guarantee that that would. <clears> well, be it just looks like steam way. rising from a yeah. sewer grate. Sure, no problem. Yeah, just steam. Or methane, or yeah. noxious fumes. Farts. Farts. Yeah. All farts. Uh, so you can speed cast farts. fog cloud on that, and mm -hmm. we could try. I could try, try to um, sneak around. Floppy doodle butts. I could try doing uh, mage hand and throwing something in the opposite way and see if we can get. Or we can just kill it. The problem is whether it's gonna if we draw too much attention to the sewer gates because we're still underneath the streets at this yeah. point, right? In yeah. daytime. Yes. In daytime. I'm gonna Aww. sneak past it. I'm just gonna okay. try to sneak past it. All right. So I'm gonna make a stealth check. You sure are. And I'm going to just, with an 18, creep along the edge and hope okay. for the best. So um, because it's kind of made its nest here, it's got like debris all around the walls. Okay. So you're able to get up out of the water, kind of. OK. And, and you sneak past it. Perfect. Do you I'm, just go down the first tunnel? That I you, can't do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. go past. I figured. Okay. Towards like. So I didn't make the survival. Craig, track. Craig would be able to tell you 
Wait, who who made the survival check? Vizago. I did. Vizago. Vizago. Yeah. So Vizago would be able to say, okay, like up beyond, into the right or... like we're headed in a direct straight yeah. path. So okay. you could just go up and around. Perfect. That's what I'll do. Okay. Are you the rest of you joining, Jeffrew? Or... No. No. I I know uh, some of our group can't make stealth checks, and <laughs> yeah, I know I know he can. He so, certainly can. So okay. If he wants to so you scout ahead. Back. Yeah. Perfect. The guy with the no dark vision. Yeah. Scouts uh -huh. ahead. Well, right. I mean, it's low light in here, basically, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. I don't see color. Right. Yeah. And I have a disadvantage on making perception checks. Well, I mean, you've, I've always thought that about you—that you don't see color. Oh. That's you think it's one it makes you it really hard if you're a painter. Thing about yeah. my baby, though, is it don't matter if she's black or white. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, Michael Jackson. <laughs> Um, so you continue on down the tunnel, um, and why don't you roll a d6 for me? Excellent. I hope I roll a six. So there's another audio? Five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. okay. Five. Five. All right. So ahead, um, That's big why don't rats. you make a... Um, a perception check? Perception With check. disadvantage? With disadvantage. Excellent. I mean, I'm moving slowly, and I'm stealth. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Let's just do that again. I'm sure. It, then Let's do better. Hopefully, for that natural 20. Uh, thir Six. 13? Thir uh, 13. Okay, so how far are you getting down this tunnel before it's like, okay, I should probably get back to my party? <laughs> uh, I'll spend, I don't know, four rounds? So 160 okay. feet? 160 feet. So, um... You, what you, the first thing you notice is when you get to the other tunnel, there is no water at all, uh, because it has the Odiog has blocked off that the other sense. tunnels. Sure. Um, and There's then, as pieces. you get like <laughs> sixty feet down the tunnel, you notice that there is, it's kind of spotless. Oh. Um, oh no. And mm. then. Um, you get oh, no. another 30 feet down the tunnel, and you see... Something jelly squishy. Something like a humanoid oh, shape. Oh, okay, that's good. With a sword, and it's starting to move towards you. Interesting. And you got a what? I got a 13. A 13, okay. So, um, it starts to move towards you, and you notice that it is not moving... Um, Naturally. Yeah, like the... the like, it's kind of like... guy... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's not he's not moving his legs as he's moving towards it's you. He's just like jiggling Take towards it. me. Right. In kind of a suspended right. state. Why don't you make a history check for me, real quick? Oh, good. <laughs> now, when Jeff, I know that I am history, school. with a five. Okay, you don't know what's going on in this situation. Excellent. But it does seem off. It does, and it's moving towards me. It's moving towards you. Yeah. All right. Well. I'm gonna, gonna move back. How fast is it moving towards me? Not fast at all. All right. Well, I will not hastily, as to keep my stealth. Okay. Uh, make it my way a, back. It has a 15 feet, foot speed. Excellent. Yeah. So I can still move yeah. twice. Ooh, train it. Train it up. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll slowly like I'll just yeah I'll train it. Just pull Are it. You Bring it to zone? I will. Yeah. You, you know why be, not? You know it'd be great is if you could get. I'm gonna get that, that, that man, to fight the Odiog. Clearly the yeah the man with the That's sword. Right. Right. Fight he's looking for mm -hmm. his Odiog pet. Yeah. So, but what happens to the group of adventurers that have camped past the Odiog, that are are looking at their spell books and memory? They'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, don't worry. Yeah. Train to zone. <laughs> enveloped. Uh, if somebody in your party is an elf and you're a human and they accidentally cast Snare instead of Spirit of Wolf, it was probably my brother. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and make another stealth check to get past the Odia a second time. Again. Keeping in mind that I'm going slow enough for the jelly. You know what? I will thing. give you advantage on the stealth check because Excellent. you are being super slow about it. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, 17. Okay. Um, so you make it pack and um you guys see we're still trying to figure out yeah. what to do about getting around the ocean why don't, <laughs> <so> <laughs> why don't you make uh perception checks as uh as your friend jeffrew <laughs> makes it back to you guys now i assume once you get once i get to past the Odeogs, the Odeog, once you get to his I'll layer normally you're going to yeah. kind of book it yeah okay because i want to be on the other side of the Odeog from the mm -hmm. right thing. 
Yeah, that's the last place you want to be. It's right between an Odeog and the guy with the sword. <laughs> sword, yeah. <laughs> so I got a 16. I okay. found a 14. jiggly guy with okay. a sword, and I thought maybe he could help us. So, so jiggly guy with the sword. So you see a guy with a sword, yeah. and you see a gelatinous cube. <laughs> oh, dude. I cast uh, super Minor goodies. Illusion <laughs> okay. to make a dinner bell sound in between the gelatinous cube and the Odeog. Okay. Ding, 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 oh, ding, yeah. ding, ding. That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I like this or, plan. Or a... Ding ding! <laughs> now here's like the thing. What we may not have successfully done in the heist, what we have done is made a great kaiju movie. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is kaiju big battle right yeah. um, Sewer kaiju. Who wins? So, the young versus gelatinous so, cube. Um, so, almost immediately, the uh, gelatinous cube moves directly through the barricade because it was mostly organic material. Perfect. It just consumes it all. Um, and then the Odeog, Does the water start to... Starts to flow out, yeah. Um, which pushes oh. the gelatinous cube back a little bit. Okay. Put the bucket um, on the ground, I stand in the bucket. And, um, and the Odeog is uh, like instantly threatened um, by all of this. And so you see a, a fight between an Odeog and a, and a guy with a sword. Yeah. <laughs> unless, unless you're Mark. Unless you're the wizard. Um, unless you're the wizard. Yeah. Um, so, I just go, oh my god. This um, actually worked. So I don't know. I mean, what, what do I know about Odeog? Or not Odeog, the Zolanus um, Cubes. Like, what are they immune to? Well, why don't you make a Arcana check? Six. You know that <laughs> that is a, one. that is a kind of an ooze that probably would be um, most oozes are immune to like acid. But um, splash damage should work, right? Um, but yeah, you don't really know a whole lot about. I mean, you skipped ooze day. In, um, That's fair. In ooze day is coming. Did you bring your coat? <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, the Odeog really can't I live in a giant bucket. do much <laughs> against the gelatinous cube, and because the gelatinous cube is also large, it can't engulf <laughs> the, the Odeog. <laughs> so this is what happens when an immovable Odeog meets an unstoppable right. gelatinous cube. So the Odeog slaps it a couple times and also takes damage, <laughs> and then it starts moving away. Oh. Oh. Um, and the... Let's see what the, the speed on the Odeog is. Um, 70 feet. <laughs> the Odeog... Actually, roll a d4 for me, Howard, because there's four directions he could move in. Excellent. Um, one. Okay, so he does not move towards you guys. He oh, moves perfect. down one of the other paths. Um, and his speed is 30 feet, so he can quickly outpace the uh, gelatinous cube. Does the gelatinous cube chase him? Yeah, it starts Slowly. moving in that direction. Excellent. But uh, it's 30 feet versus 15 right. feet, so he, like... But we can wait. But we can as wait, the and then gelatinous move cube past. continues past the direction. No. This is this, this is, is a much better scouting I am, mission than falling down the stairs. And I'm coming so back glad. With half off. I'm so glad Vizago's plan of well, if we just keep popping around, the plan will form itself around us. <laughs> it seems to be working. It's in personality trait. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so you guys walk past. The uh, Odia layer? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we just, All right. Yeah. So the water is quickly starting to go down in different directions because now the uh, gelatinous cube has de destroyed another barrier. Oh, so perfect. it's starting to go yeah. in another starting direction. Starting to flow again. Yeah. Yeah, it's no longer being dammed up by anything. Uh, yeah. Why don't you guys make stealth So we checks? really have done a service for the city at this point. Yeah, evidently. <laughs> well, not necessarily because we're basically are good heroes. For the city. Right, but we're, we're helping the flow of trash oh, again. Oh, yeah. Or sewer. <laughs> what check is this again? Stealth. Stealth? Okay. Yeah. 14. 13. Okay. 11. Okay. Um, I will make two more checks. Four. Just, just <laughs> on the off chance that. Nope. Nope. 18 and a 17 on the dice. Um, nice. You guys sneak past the gelatinous cube just fine um, and make your way to um, the um, estate of Volgrim. Um, so at this point, what are you, what are you guys doing? Well, we're not going to do a heist in the middle of the day, right? No. Why? Because there are 20 guards and 15 servants. 
That's yeah. 32 people. I mean, mm. you brought a health potion, right? Mm. <laughs> I'm, <just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm not proficient in math. <laughs> Is that why you have a, such a huge loss? your dump stat? <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what are you guys doing? It's here? an, old, it's a, it's, that's a thirteen. Uh, I think we wanted to check out the grates where they come up and yeah. see okay. all the different accesses. We can um, get. it's very similar to uh, the the grates that you came through, mm -hmm. although on this side if you get up close you can uh, notice that there are no locks on the ones in the estate because they're self-servicing yeah, yeah and they're not as concerned with thieves being sneaking into the sneaking sewers into and the coming sewers. out through the grates i mean because there's go an odia in a gelatinous, in a gelatinous cube. cube in there how would they possibly get in there <laughs> <laughs> They had action figures and just wanted to bang them against each other. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, yeah. I'm gonna watch this episode just to watch that. Scene. Yeah. <laughs> what do you What do you guys want to do? Um, so, what different rooms do the greats come into? Because I know he said there were like six. So or So there, are, there are privies in each of the buildings. Mm -hmm. right. um, the grates are on the grounds themselves because no one wants a sewer grate in, in the building. Into your building. Yeah. Um, most of them are away from the manor itself, mm -hmm. although there are privies mm -hmm. in the manor. And you think a, a giant mm -hmm. would have a fairly sizable privy. Yeah. Um, one hope. that you guys could probably actually uh, get, yeah. through. get through. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're about the same size as his turds. <laughs> I mean, you're probably I mean, bigger than his turds, but if you think about really smaller than game. his butt. So <laughs> if you think about it, like if he eats you, you have to get through, right? Exactly. So, yeah. It's just logic. Yeah. Really. So there is there are access points probably within a hundred feet of the the mansion and probably within thirty feet of each of the the smaller buildings. Cool. And um, <clears throat> while we're down here, could I have uh, Vizago like make marks and stuff? So if we were to come oh, back yeah, through, absolutely. we would know the There's path. There's not Perfect. anything that you need to do. <clears throat> okay, cool. On that, I just wanted to make sure that if, if we it don't was, get lost, yeah, we don't get lost. But also, like, if we came back this way next time or something, we could still follow the trail and not have to rely on a really good survival roll from the one person who has it <laughs> <laughs> to get through. I mean, the, the thing that you want to have happen in a successful heist is then you get lost in the lost sewers. Lost in the sewers <laughs> with the Odiog and with the Jill yeah. yeah, And they both survived, so yeah. that's the good news. Yeah, they're guys... both out there just being heroes. Yeah, just <laughs> cleaning up the sewers the only way they know how. <laughs> but the good news is neither of them really gets tired, right? So it's just a constant runaround. <laughs> so now that we've engaged those two voices, they'll never stop. It's a continuous... Clear, clearly. Yeah. Um... So, what do you want to do next? Well, we we're gonna need to s yeah. sneak in. Yeah. Um, oh, one other thing um, that I will throw in that was something that came up last mm -hmm. session. So the vault is in the basement of the um, the manor itself. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that was that was definitely given yeah. to you guys in the last yeah. session. Well, no and one of us have Earth Glide, right? Uh, there's no, no no high level druids with you in the party. <laughs> oh, so just a, level threes. There's a nobody can our, summon. Our dwarven them. race. It was somebody like homebrewed that gave them earth glide for like once, but they can't, they can't breathe, so they get oh. once once a short rest or once a long oh. rest. They can and they can move until they, they can't. Up. They well, they, well, well I mean, you can if move only I had a pet early. blue dragon. <laughs> um, what do you guys want to do? Um, well, we know we have this. Uh, can I make a survival check and see if I could think of a way to um, take out the the area around the sewers, the path leading, the path that we did? Mm -hmm. If I could maybe set up things that would make it not unattainable to the Odiog or the Jet, but like maybe like unenticing. Okay. Like maybe moving the trash towards the other tunnels or something like okay. that. Maybe Why spray some mint yeah. or something. Yes. Uh, that would be fifteen sixty. Okay. Um, yeah, I think you could probably um, start moving the trash away from this area, yeah. and that would... I mean, there's nothing to make 
a gelatinous cube. cube not uh, avoid the area, but right. Yeah, just trying to change the path that it would yeah. go in. A you ladder. Can, you can yeah. move <laughs> the Odiug, uh trash away from this and try to find a better area or maybe just a more enticing area. Yeah. Um, and that I feel like you could do fairly successfully with a cool with a sixteen. Sweet. Yep. Uh, so we got that. Uh, do we want to head out and do some? I'm trying to think. What other ways we can maybe help prepare ourselves before we sneak in? So, um, you know that there's people during the day. Mm -hmm. um, you don't really know what it looks like at night. night yeah. Um, you know nothing about the grounds. Um, and I could try to sneak up and scout a little bit. Yeah. I mean, if we. But we want. We can try. How, what time is it? Right I also need now? to clean uh, off a I little would bit, say, I given the moving of trash and all of this stuff, it'd probably be getting closer to evening. I mean, if we want, we can stick by one of the gates over here and check out. Like, we don't even have to necessarily go out, but we can start checking out, peeking out, and seeing what we can see the night time sure. looks like. Okay. All right. Um, why don't you guys make a perception check for me? Sure. Eighteen. We'll go with 18. Five. <laughs> you guys are doing awesome. <laughs> I'm, uh, I've rolled three. more twos. Mm -hmm. uh, in a row okay, than so with an 18, um, as evening approaches, um, many of the guards uh, leave. They're replaced by a few others. Um, the Seneschal, you overhear a conversation with um, the guy that was manning the gate where mm -hmm. he's being yelled at for letting <laughs> strangers on the grounds. And also for uh, Cleve's like, depression now that he's, <laughs> uh, he's like, what are you doing, man? You know that that's his thing. Um, and uh, yeah, so he, he gets yelled at a lot. Um, most of the servant staff um, also leave mm -hmm. during, the, um, during kind of the shift change. Um, and there are, from your vantage point, it's tough to get an idea of the numbers, but it is definitely less populated okay. during the day, hmm. or during the night than it is during the day. Okay, cool. Um, also, something I meant to bring up, but I, I didn't do it earlier. Um, the guards and the servants, what kind of uniforms are they wearing? Um, the guards are wearing pirate type of dress but they all have like tabards that have a flaming fist on them um, and the servants are just wearing like Victorian era servant clothing like black mm -hmm. frocks uh, with white aprons on them hmm. okay cool yeah some of you might and are they covered in sewage or most of them aren't no. uh, most of them are not covered in sewage um, but there is Larry I mean, you know about Larry, right? Um, so he's not the guy with the sword inside the gelatinous cube. So you got a you got an eighteen. Tip. Yeah. Um, you overhear a conversation between two of the guards. That's like, so are we meeting up at um, the Fairwinds tonight? And the other guy's like, dude, we're of course we are. That's where we go to drink. Um, and then they they wander off. Guys, I have a plan. Not only. Are we definitely not going to the Fairwinds just to drink and forget about the thing I was going to do? <laughs> but we're going to the Fairwinds. Wait, why are we going to the Fairwinds? Oh, the guards drink there, I think. I hear they've got these big burgers with extra mayonnaise on them. That's gross. That's gross. <laughs> like a boss. Like extra mayonnaise is gross. <laughs> I mean, regular mayonnaise is fine on a burger, but extra There's mayonnaise. reasons for a small amount of mayonnaise on a burger. Yeah. Extra mayonnaise. There's Aaron, no reason you for agree with this, right? Listen, I'm not going to get involved in <laughs> politics. I, um, can't afford. I, think, I think it's a good time for a PSA. Um, yeah. Baby mouth is a real thing. Yeah. And some people are yeah. afflicted with Listen, baby mouth. Baby mouth um, is You know, yeah. and they there's, there's a reason that um, chicken nuggets are on every menu. It's true. It's because even baby mouths enjoy meat. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, so what are you guys doing? You guys gonna go get cleaned up and go to the Fairwind? Are you gonna do something else? 
Yeah, I think we'll get cleaned up and go to the fair one. We might have to edit that uh, out. Unless anybody <laughs> no, has No, there's no editing. Yeah. yeah, anybody that's watched our videos knows that there's no editing. There's, no there's editing. a reason for that. <laughs> yeah. Authenticity. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. We it's want not to the, nothing to do with being lazy. It's not the effort. Mm -hmm. We want no. to make sure that you guys feel like you belong yeah. at our table. Yep. Um, and to edit it down would just not give you the same thing. Exactly. Although I really do like the idea of making a series called Being Made, and it's <laughs> a, a one session that's been edited. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it's five seconds of so like, oh, woo, and then it ends. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> woo. And all of the intros cut out. All the intros cut out. <laughs> Most of the game is cut out. There's one good D20. So, like, yeah. One natural 20, 20 and, then the and game's over. Woo, by, and then it by the time it takes you to get out of the sewers. Oh, I, man is confused as to what baby mouth is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> like, that's, baby mouth. Yeah, that's that's an affliction you have when uh, you, you don't like what most people like. And so you have what's called a baby mouth because babies often only like a few certain things. Yeah. So. <laughs> Like, coined by one Xavier Woods, as far as I'm very, aware. Very, very specific things yeah. that a baby would eat yeah. is what yeah. Aaron will eat. Yeah, it's called baby mouth. You can look it up. Uh, complex uh, combinations of foods uh, yeah. are uh, no You like food. mac and cheese? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, so, like, an example of, of what, what, what would be a perfect uh, food for you? Baby mouth? Uh, you know, like, a lot of things that you would be like, that's just plain, like, uh, chicken. Yeah. Just and, chicken. And rice. And like just like really basic stuff, like maybe barbecue or whatever right. sauce you could throw on there. But uh, I, I have really overactive uh, taste buds, mm. so things that most people are like, oh, that adds flavor. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> and you have bitter. You yeah. have uh, a sophisticated palate. They yeah, tell so people that. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. It's not like when you take those taste bud strips and it goes spikes in one direction. You're like, well, all right, <laughs> that's how that goes, I guess. So. Um, so you guys spend the rest of the day cleaning yourselves up because you've been in the sewers and um, Just throw away those. Get those poor overalls are gonna end oh, up yeah. in some other like street. Well, they're sweepers. gonna end up in an audio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, that's, this that's is how you get rid of the evidence. It's yeah, be happy about it. Okay, yeah. it's like so, it's a delicious. It's, yeah, it's your mutant, oh. baby mouth is your mutant power. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like the lamest one. Once teasing. you guys get clean, who is going with you to the uh, the fairway? Uh, I want to go. If Thaven's down to go, I'll have Thaven go. Thaven will go. Um, what about Thaven's six siblings? No. Sakesh no. is the only. Okay. Sakesh, I'll be like, eh, you might. Lucky number seven. She Give will go. Seven. She will go um, report into the sleeping circle. That's probably a good idea. And then she leaves and like, hey, I'll fuck her. I'll go with you. <laughs> <laughs> you did did I you like say it. you want to fuck her? No, yeah, I said fries. fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Wait, that's too many now. Oh yeah, we did say that three times. Damn it! Um, Damn it! All right. I'm so you're taking rating. you're taking these two and yeah. Thaven? Yeah. All right. So off you go to the Fairwind. And yeah. the Fairwind, uh, for those of you who haven't seen the episode and the players who also haven't seen the episode, um, is a um, a tavern owned by one of the pirate captains. Um, the dining area includes a fighting ring for entertainment purposes, and the menu is known for its selection of monstrous delights. Mm. Uh, this this week they're serving terror bird, which is like a chicken the size of an ostrich yeah, exactly. or a chocobo. Uh um, <laughs> but if you didn't want to have licensing issues uh, about a chocobo. Um, you just call it a terror bird, and then really? there you go. Yep. It's like a dire ostrich. God, yes. Do you guys remember that classic video game back in the 90s? Terror Just? bird racing? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys walk in. It is in full swing. There is no fights tonight, but um, there are. it is packed. Um, and one of the... Oh. We brought Jeffrey to the fairwind for a... Oh the yeah, Jeffrew should. definitely gets yeah. recognized. Because, By the way, you're the champion of the fighting pit. Because last right night, now. yeah, last <laughs> night, yeah. That. last you, night, you you became champion of the the fighting ring. Mm -hmm. um, so Jeffrew is definitely hit up for um, you. You get uh, some drinks, excellent, um, and um, people are kind of asking you what your story is, kind of trying to get an idea, better idea of of what makes me tick. That's and I'm right. happy to tell you. 
when he gets punched enough, his accent changes. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, like, a whole bunch of people were super confused. Like, I did not realize he you was Scottish. You know, last Scottish. night he did not have a Scottish accent. <laughs> um, if I weren't fighting in that ring, I'd be blowing my bagpipes. Okay, glad you finished that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was there was definitely a, a part where that sentence could have gone wrong, yeah. and it definitely did not. Definitely. Uh, I'm family friendly. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they asked me to play. So, um, you guys, you don't have to make a, a perception check. You can see that there are guards that um, clearly haven't changed out of their, their uniforms. They're, they're drinking at a table. Uh, maybe they'd hire me. Maybe. maybe. Maybe they'd just hire me. They know I'm uh, getting in a fight. The yeah. hostess is uh, there to seat you um, mm. where you want, wherever you want. Um, is there a private room? There it is, is actually was established. Yeah. There were private rooms that they you guys didn't want to. Maybe need. one for the champion. Well, the champion needs a yeah. private Listen, room. This yeah. is a lot of attention. Yeah. And private room is a little much. So it is a yeah. booth sure. with yeah. a curtain. But uh, it's a very nice curtain. And people keep like reaching their their uh, magic selfie stones inside. Yeah, and they're trying yeah. to like catch a picture of oh, me with send, them. Sending stones. Sending, sending they're, they're stones. sending selfie stones. That they don't realize. So is that let's, send let's see if we can get a private booth. Magic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then maybe bring a guard over, maybe get him super guard drunk, in. and get his armor. Yeah. You know. That seems like a good idea. I'm going to yeah. go talk to one of them. Okay. And yeah. just. Yeah. Tell them, would you would you like to introduce yourself? Like, and introduce myself as the champion of the pit. Yeah, sure. And uh, they're like, we oh heard, man, we, we heard, heard about you. Uh, You're Jeffrew. Yeah, I'm Jeffrew. And th so there's two of these guards. There's uh, a or table of a guards. A table. So like perfect. six of them. All right. Well, I'm gonna just single out one guy. Okay. The who, prettiest guy. No, the like the the one that looks like he's not. <laughs> so very if you were to like the other play oh, black, the one that you, really... the one whose armor you think you could fit in. Yeah, I yeah. size him up. You size him up. <laughs> yeah. Or Terminator yeah. style. Yeah. <laughs> I need your boots, <laughs> your tabard, <laughs> and your helmet. Now. <laughs> no. um, so yeah, you can size that up fairly Perfect. easily. There is one guy that doesn't look like he's fitting in very well. Perfect. Um, and um, I'll ask him if he wants to, to come. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll tell him uh, some of my friends. Some of my friends are in the booth over there, and we're thinking, hey, we want to find out what makes all of this great. And your name came up, and we're gonna we're gonna go have some drinks. You should join us. Okay. Why don't you make a persuasion check? Woo. Persuasion six, because I, I rolled a six. Right. Yeah. Um. That's your other dumb stat? So, well, it's, uh, I didn't roll great. Oh. He's like, he says, you know, um, I'm new with this group, and like if I left with you. Oh, but we're buying. I, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> and so he wanders off with you. Um, yeah. Cool. So he comes into your booth, and you close the door, or close the blind, <laughs> and. Uh, get him drunk. <laughs> Just get him drunk. Okay. So what and, do you and while we're while we're getting him drunk, I'll be like, like, what kind of job is that? Like, I'm gonna be honest, it seems like a shitty job. Why why be a guard? Um, well, it pays pretty well. I mean, cool. the Fulgrim is like one of the pirate lords on the council. Yeah, but like, what kind of what kind of hours do you have to get with something like that? I mean. I'm, right now, I'm on the day shift because yeah. I am in training, um, but... So you're a git. I'm you're, sorry? You're a guard in training. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I suppose you could say that. Um, and But, you know, they said that you have to work on nights for a bit before, mm -hmm. um, but, but I'm, you know, I'm hoping to work my way. Who's so. working nights right now? Yeah. Um, he says, uh, Edbert. And um, he rattles off a couple of names. Um, so, just Britain, Britain. so just like uh, like five or six people are working nights? Uh, yeah, so it would be about um, about five or so guards. No, that's a substantial crew. Um, and he says, you know, Vulgrim is fairly secure in his estate he i mean he's there too so do you, have you ever gone to get inside have you ever 
been inside the estate. The manor? Yeah. Yeah, I've been inside the manor. I mean, come on. Fire giant estate. What's that like? Uh, a lot of stonework. And Do you have to change the curtains you say? a lot? And, and wrought iron? Well, he really loves iron. I, I'll tell you that. It's a lot of sp iron sculptures and um, and uh, stonework. What kind of sheets does he use? Uh, the non-flammable <laughs> kind? I've There's never no been in his bedroom. I, I'll be honest with you. Oh, well, I got a question for stone. you. Sure. Did the seneschal have to sign your contract? Um, yes. Was it on paper? Yeah. How'd that work? Um, I did not catch on fire. Uh, you know, you know, that's a good point. I wonder how it didn't catch on fire. Magical. Concept. Here's another drink. <laughs> <laughs> he lights that on fire. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and have you guys make a, a deception check. Deception. Um, and if oh one person wants to assist somebody else, they yeah, certainly can do I'll that. that. I mean, I'm trained in deception. Okay. Well, that's how you would. Natural been. twenty plus. Two, because Natural trained. 22. <laughs> Four. You well, don't have to make it? I rolled oh. a 14. Okay. So I got a 23. Oh. Dis. On you and your natural, natural 20. 20. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I had to count it out before I said that. I'm just trying to pry information out of him. I'm trying to lie to him. Yeah. No, actually. <laughs> so the deception check is to... Get the information without, without making it making suspicious. It. Yeah. Without being oh, like, hey, maybe. how would I break into the place you work? So yeah, uh, I know that this is your third day on the job, but uh, how how can you tell me that armor? Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, look, look deeply into my <laughs> color spray. <laughs> <laughs> just just like so all sorts of obscene, terrible sounds come from the other side of the curtain. They're like, should we go? No. I mean, you should let. They have a curtain. Yeah, I mean, yes. the, the, the curtain is closed. <laughs> That's it private. Some privacy. Yeah. Um, I cast prestige so occasionally to tell people off. What you know, what you find out from um, from this guard, who you do not ask his name, which is very rude. I told uh, him his name came up too. <laughs> I he was going to ask me what his name was. And then um, I just he, have to wing he it. He tells you so, one, there is a uh, set of stairs on the ground floor that leads to the vault. He has never been to the vault, um, he's never been down the stairs. Um, he has, um, he, he knows that the. Um, the captain of the Night's Watch mm -hmm. is Jon Snow. Um, <laughs> he knows nothing. Um, Bastard. No, is a half work. Mm. Um, and uh, he basically runs things at night um, mm. when the Seneschal is sleeping. And um, there, surprisingly enough, are not traps on the grounds because it is a living space for people. And so, you know. Um, just having random snares and that, stuff around the that grounds. Is, that does not stop me in putting traps on the grounds. Sleeve is like, what? <laughs> um, so. I just wanted to make my curtain beautiful. Um, he also knows that uh, that uh, Volgram has been in talks recently with a mercenary company known as the Black Network um, to. Could I do uh, a history? It would be a history trick? Um, to help him move some of the the loot that he's gotten uh, around. Fifteen. You get advantage on it. Oh, sweet! Thank you. We'll stick with the fifteen. Okay, so fifteen. That's yeah. easy. Um, fifteen is uh, would tell you that the Black Network is an organization of mercenaries who used to well, still currently operate, but fairly recently have mm -hmm. retaken a place called Sentinel Keep. Sentinel Keep is like uh, the, the if, if Cormier, which mm -hmm. is where um, Corvin is from, mm -hmm. is like the just Hall of Justice, yeah. um, Sentinel Keep is like the Hall of Injustice. Doom? Is that what it was? The Maybe. Legion, the Legion of, of Doom? Doom? Was, that doesn't was, sound I thought it was right the Legion of Evil. Um, I, I'm going to be honest. Whatever Lex Luthor yeah. runs. So yeah. it is the. It's in a swamp. A league of it it's is, a giant it skull. It is a nation <laughs> run by evil wizards, and there is a mercenary company that operates out of it um, called the, 
the um, the black network. Um, they operate in Emmerich's hold. They they operate pretty much out of every major city. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the Hall of Doom. And Doom. oh, the Hall of Doom. Hall there you go. Um, and um, it would make sense that if a pirate lord wanted to keep his stuff secure, that he might use them yeah. to um, to <laughs> do business. Um, yeah. With a 15, also you would know that the Black Network operates out of um, the Powder Keg, which is the bar that you were at previously. Yep. Um, <clears throat> and um, he said something. He says something about um, one of the builders or something. He's fairly drunk at this point. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Also drinks at the. He has a gnome. The the. Um, drinks the powdered. The wig. powdered. The powdered wig, I think. Yeah. 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 yeah that sounds right. The famous pirate establishment, the powder wig. The yeah. powder wig. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then he passes out. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, so yeah, that's what you. That's what you get. Huh. All right. Well. Um, I'm gonna peek behind my curtain. Okay. How lively is the party outside? The party stuff? is fairly lively. Fairly lively. Uh, Thaven pulls you aside mm -hmm. and he says, um, hey, did you did you meet up with that Harper when you were on Caldir? Uh, I saw him, but I didn't meet up with him because I was waiting for a certain someone to show up. Mm. Mm. You know, he's watching those boys. Um, I mean, brothers. he's not... He's not dead. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Are you headed back to Paldir at any point? That's where my travels take me. Okay. But uh, I'm pretty sure we made it clear that uh, my debt to you is paid at the end of this. How about, can I pay for That is the word I like services? to hear. Services? <laughs> yeah. Well, once we get done with this, because well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, you could still be dead tomorrow. In two days. <laughs> it sounded like a threat. It seems like... <laughs> yeah, we're like literally at the table. <laughs> <laughs> Craig was there when they told him he had three days to get this done or else he yeah, it's true. take him. Yeah, he still has two yeah. days. Yeah. Yeah. This is fine. Yeah. 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 Um, so he says, you know, yeah, I think there definitely needs to be a check-in happen and so what he he does a sleight of hand and i'll uh -huh. roll it just so that um what's your guys passive perception not, 13 not um, aaron yeah. but, <laughs> 12. Uh, i hope i see it 11 okay. 13 sorry uh okay so he does slip something underneath like a mug and then lifts it up and what you get out mm -hmm. of it is a harper pen oh. um and i'm not even going to make you roll you would know exactly what it is and he says the next time you see um, the man with the scar, um, show him this, and then tell him that you're um, asking for me, uh, the white rabbit, mm -hmm. about the brothers. Okay. And uh, he'll like go to pick up his drink to like cheer it with the guard, because I think the guard's still drinking at this point. And then I'll just kind of keep it in. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, so. Um, the night uh, you guys can spend as much time at the the fairwinds uh, as you want mm -hmm. um i think we should at least try to wait out the guard booth so that way when we drag his friend out drunk like we're hell hanging out they don't stop us okay yeah yeah um you know the guards have to work in the morning so yeah. it's an early night for them so yeah. they stay until about um 11 ish and then they head home um, the, at that point, um, this guard, guard number two, mm -hmm. um, falls out of the booth and um, beyond the curtain, and nobody really cares at this cool. point. That's my cue. He's ready. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get our you, buddy out of here. Do you take the? Do you take him with you? Uh, I say we take him out of the bar, maybe okay. to Why? the nearest alley, and then steal his no, clothes. And then we steal his clothes. Tab All we need is the tabard. I'm not going to strip him in the middle of a public bar. He got really drunk. <laughs> he probably stripped himself. Well, okay, so if you're only taking his tabard, 
because he's wearing piratey type clothes. Yeah. yeah. If you're only taking his tabard, you could just pull him back into the, the booth. private yeah. booth and just strip his tabard yeah, off. That's, that's fine. Okay. And then we'll just leave him. What, what other things does he have on him? <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me find out for you. <laughs> yeah. <Okay>. For me. <laughs> Um, okay, why don't you guys make an investigation check? Oh, and if right. there's two people, you can have advantage. I'm going to give you trained, advantage. You guys can have advantage. Oh, okay. I have a plus five. So, well, you should investigate. That's already better than I got. It's a natural 25. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So he we has... We found the platinum piece he keeps underneath his left boot. <laughs> he has, um, a sword. Oh, cavity search. Um, I like your commitment. It is, uh, it is wooden, so he doesn't hurt himself. Because, um, you know, a yeah, yeah, couple yeah. days on the job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and he has uh, he has a coin purse, um, and he has a note from his mom. Oh, that's so cute. Does he have any coins in there? He does have a couple coins in there. Um, he has a silver piece and uh, ten copper pieces. Perfect. I'm gonna put another silver piece in there. Oh. Yeah. You're gonna take the ten copper. Just to <laughs> make him change. change. <laughs> <laughs> I really needed copper. <laughs> He's like, I made change earlier. Now I gotta do it again. Yeah, dang it. God. Do you know how much the banking fee is? Uh, can't just so no, no, no. Why don't we just give him a silver and you can write him a note that says thanks so much for the tabard. It's gonna look so great, and then sign some girl's name. You're right. I should, and I'll, I'll grab the coin first, and I'll be like, "Let me, let me do that for you." And I'm gonna take all of the money in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, that is mm. uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. Should I, um, should I roll on it? Well, it's gonna be versus passive perception. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. Um, beats my passive. So you guys don't notice him take it. I go, there you go. He's going to wake up with a pleasant. Yeah. Does Craig get active perception? Because he knows Visago <laughs> at this point. Uh, well, I mean, how many drinks has Craig had? None. None. Also, to be sure. fair, it is canon that Craig is. They, they serve swill here, not yeah. Rumble Tide <laughs> Ale. Yeah. Oh, it is yeah. canon. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, he was. He was he has so, a mini brewer's kit that yeah, he took out and tested he, it. He tested the ale. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, go ahead and roll an active yeah. All right. perception check. That is a 22. Okay, so you spot him pocket something from the... Um, the well, there's like, only three first. things to pocket, and he's not going to take the mom's note. Maybe he will. Or maybe I am. <laughs> also, uh, locate cannon, this. He woman. takes the mom's note. Actually, all you as do well is change the mom's note. Yeah. Says, and remember, your brother says, was always my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> it says, I, had a brother? I know that you're going to have a great day. You're going to do great. <laughs> does love, it have like, does it have like really nice curse? Yeah. Okay, cool. It's, I mean, listen. It's written on pink paper, too. The Zago you might have second. Mom. You could actually. Uh, you can actually try to copy her handwriting and say on the back side, like, right, P.S., I had so-and-so scheduled to pick up your uniform, your uniform to clean it. Uniform to clean it, yeah, <laughs> clearly. Or, you know, maybe Visago matches that handwriting later and, you know, gets some brownie points. Okay. All right. Visago's going to rob this man and then maybe have sex with his mother. <laughs> <laughs> and how does the handwriting come in? Like you, you said in this note that you would have sex with me. I found I found your son, <laughs> and I made his day, and I helped him out. Bring he had a this tough lovely day. man named Visago home with you. He can be found at this place at this time. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, listen. I'm just saying. You know, keep your options open. Sure, sure. Um, okay, what do you guys want to do now? Hey, your mom told me to give you this note. Well, yeah. we've got the we've got the tavern. Oh, you got the tavern. We know a little bit more about things at night. We know yep. a lot we more about Aaron. <laughs> the Seneschal is sleeping. No, you know nothing more about Aaron, but There's a lot no more about the No, no, no. That's role playing. What is Thaven's job? Is he a rogue or what is Thaven? Thaven's a bard. bard. He's a bard. He is who, who Two taught. Two bards? Oh he's he's God. the one that taught. And uh, the guy Zago. that thinks he's a bard. I just, I just play the bagpipes <laughs> pretty mm -hmm. well, too. Um, I mean, it's not inspiring. But no. So. Um, <laughs> oh god, I need to leave right away. <laughs> I'm gonna play so some drunken bad Do you want to do, do. do call it an evening or do you want to move on to someplace else? I think I think we call it an evening, unless you guys have another idea. Well, how much do we need to know before we can the other thing break I know this place? The other thing I know we should like probably find out is probably how to open the vault. That seems like a pretty big step. And I yeah. don't think 
the snake sister is going to be that much help if she can even is, get us into This is the what I also sewer. discovered today. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> because I well, mean, we need to find out who made the vault. Yeah. If yeah. possible. Cuz then that uh, person Did we find that out at the blueprint place? Uh well, actually, why don't you go ahead and make an investigation check on your blueprints? Yeah. We didn't really discuss 19. that. 19. Yeah. 19. Um, so you would know that the um, the person who was noted to make the vault was a gnome by the name of Nickus Geerguts. Oh, hey, there's a gnome that drinks at the powder keg. Nickus Geerguts. I don't know late? that those two are related, Aaron. I mean, how late is it, by the way? It's, it's early. 11 o'clock. Yeah. Let's go to the powder keg. Okay. So you guys head off to the powder keg. Yeah. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, your champion is here. <laughs> Why don't you make a constitution? Oh, okay, fine. It's you not one know. of the ones that I'm proficient in. Good. Uh, 18. Okay, you're fine. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, you can pretend to be drunk, <laughs> but you are fine. Excellent. Um, Craig takes out and I want class. them to sell me drinks. <laughs> so, we, I'm going to switch the. Uh, is this the the atmosphere music? Uh, we're going from a nice tavern. To oh a yeah, you're in the pirate the, tavern. The pirate seedy tavern. tavern. Uh, give me one Which second. Don't you have any bagpipe music? A lot busier. <laughs> Don't. And there's not. You know, surprisingly enough, there's not one with the this pirate is, music. This uh, is. This is not going to work for me. Does it ruin your immersion? Piracy and bagpipes. That's all I really. Care I mean, about. I could play some pirate music, but I'm pretty sure we'll get sued. <laughs> yeah. Over copyright violations. Uh, what we'll if just, it's we'll just get taken bagpipes. off of Twitch. Um, Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Always oh, um, a poor sick kid in the powder keg. <laughs> Could be a gnome. Um, so the first thing you notice about the powder keg is the sawdust on the floor. Um, mm. And the second thing you notice the is that most of the regulars bear scars or missing teeth. Um, Aaron uh, Vizago has been here before, and yeah. he knows that the, the kind of the motto amongst the regulars is uh, a night without a fight at the powder keg is a wasted night. Excellent. Um, this seems like my kind of place. So, there is a bunch of level twenty. There is, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it's it's all level twenty. At this There's place. a tiefling with some with just oversized arms for some reason. <laughs> um, you do as you were walking Cat up. Pork thief. You, you so these these two um, humans with. They're super well built, and they're wearing really tight black T-shirts. Are <laughs> escorting someone out and throwing him in the gutter. Do they um, have long hair, like mullet style? Yeah, or? mullet styles. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> and there's a guy uh, with white pants and really like loose-fitting denim jeans nice. uh, that lights up a uh, death stick as you guys walk up, and he's like, "It's a nice night in there. Why don't you guys, you guys be nice." Until it's time to not be nice, and then he escorts you. That's beyond. That's <laughs> above Aaron's. That's beyond Aaron's time. No, I feel like I failed picking up on a reference there or something. It's Patrick Swayze. Yeah, from Roadhouse. Like, from Roadhouse. I was, I'm googling Roadhouse <laughs> <laughs> to show him what this, yeah. how, how just awesome this is. It's actually really terrible, but like, I, I want one of those boots. I can tell. Like at first, I was like, did he just? Oh, yeah, solid. <laughs> but at first I was like, is he, is he just like, did he mess up a line and then like kind of go for it again? Yeah, I don't I, know. Okay. No. Um, I wasn't so, going to point it out, you know? So when you, go, when you go into the bar, you see that there is a bartender. Um, he's somewhat polishing a glass. Um, and there is a gnome at the bar. There is a group of... Um, uh, Individuals, not a group of individuals, that's stupid. There is a group um, wearing all black that is in one of the booths. Um, there is no private booths here. Um, and there is a smattering of other people who have watched the, uh, the person getting thrown out and are making their way back to their tables um, to drink more. Um, so with that, what would you guys like to do? Uh, I'd like to set up at the bar, not right next to the gnome, but close to the gnome. Okay. Uh, I just order a drink. Um, I should mention one other thing because uh, 
you are who you are. Yeah. Um, you notice that one of the guys in the... <laughs> Uh, you guys noticed, or uh, you noticed that it's one of the uh, that's called pineapple. <laughs> one of the individuals in the group at the booth is a furbolg, and you think that this is odd because you've only seen one furbolg before. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> she comes in. Hi, Rin. You're not Rin. <laughs> oh shit! Sorry, I've <laughs> only really seen one. I, you, you look all... like somebody I know. I mean. Furbolgs all really look the same. One of my <laughs> best friends is a furbolg. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. One of my best friends is a furbolg. Um, so should we do the that's, no, that's, hey, that's my fish gag? Yeah, why not? All right. Let's do get help. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. It's, it's embarrassing. We actually just watched that movie last night. Um, I love that movie so much. Yeah, it's so great. Um, but it's technology in a fantasy Got, setting, and it's just That's not my fish is the maneuver we're going to pull here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I cast I minor illusion on a tray. Okay. With and make a fish appear on it. Okay. And then put it on somebody's table. Okay. okay. And then one of you go over there and go, hey, that's my fish. And then you start a fight with them. Great. And if you guys want to do that, I'm gonna sit next to this gnome over okay. here. All right. So. So in the background of this scene. Yeah. So that got the, <laughs> the things that they have described. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Happening. Yeah. And the fight yeah. starts. Yeah. And you are talking to the bartender or to the gnome? Uh, I'm taking. I'm talking to the bartender. Okay. The drink. <laughs> so, so yeah, I I duck under a booth and cast invisibility on myself okay. and I just watch for an hour. <laughs> Because that's how for long a number you? of rounds. No, invisibility to... lasts for like an hour. Okay. Damn. Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah. Until the table gets crushed and then I'm. Okay, okay. so. Post that up and I'll be like, yeah, make it, make it a double. Tonight, tonight's shitty. Okay. And the, ta uh, the barkeep says, here you go. Yeah. Uh, and he hands you two, two mugs of ale. <laughs> and he says, what? What's what's wrong, friend? Well, I don't know if you can tell because I'm out of the. Co I'm in my normal get up, yeah, and I'm like, yeah. I tend to do some sailing uh, yeah. most of the time. Sure. But uh, man, it's just not my passion. Okay. What's just, your passion? Gardening. Will you promise <laughs> not to make fun of me? Sure. Please. I want to. I want to build things. Really? Just, yeah. I just. You know, I he, uh, and he's doing one of those things where he's trying to look interested. But yeah, he's yeah, he's not failing to look he's interested. Not, and uh, can I do a? Uh, I guess it would be a persuasion sure, check. Sure, persuasion maybe. sounds exactly uh, what I was but thinking. But I was so while I'm describing it, I, he's gonna, I'm gonna desperately search for some like actual engineering mumbo yeah. jumbo, yeah, 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 yeah. and just be like, I just I don't feel like anyone appreciates a good like. Screw whatever At this, this. Point, yeah. Uh, a patron gets thrown over the bar. Yeah, and, and he just, just like you just yeah, lift so, up your drink because yeah. he slides. In <laughs> and right now. I don't want to be a cog in a machine. I want to put a, a cog, cog in a machine. A machine. <laughs> uh, that's <laughs> God damn it. I want, to, I want to make a machine that makes cogs. Uh, Twenty three. Twenty three. Yeah. Okay, so you come up with everything that you have ever learned in 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 your entire life. life. Uh, as far as engineering goes, and you put together yeah. like a story that is yeah. well crafted, and you actually see the the gnome perk up, and yeah. through kind of a drunken haze, he's like, "Are you are you a worshipper of Gond? Uh, can I make? Would that be a knowledge religion check? That I'm would guessing be a knowledge religion check. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. Um, you know that Gond is the god of invention. Um, he was worshipped a while ago and is not commonly worshipped anymore. Um, one of the massive uh, world-changing events kind of uh, it wiped out the um, the island where he most of his followers were. Um, and yeah, what do you do with that information? Uh, is there any like the island is gone? Is there any like sayings that they have like you know like oh yeah should, yeah you know. like uh, like uh, the 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 cog turns right t right twice a day. I don't know yeah. something like yeah. right. And I'll I'll barrel that pack out. Sure. Yeah. 
He's like, well, you know, um, I happen to fancy myself quite a machine smith myself. What? And I'll move the, uh, I totally had left one seat open yeah. just so I can move yeah, one seat closer. Sure. And I'll be like, oh my gosh, I've, I've been on here and it seems like all around me all there is is chaos and destruction. <laughs> it is a pirate town. Like yeah. where you were just seated. Yeah. <laughs> just there's just that pirate. stool just gets yeah. wiped out and it just splinters. Yeah. Um, just, I want to make things work, you know? Just, would you... Would you be interested in seeing my shop? Oh, that'd be the best. Well, let's go. Yeah. Uh, let me go. I, I have a friend here somewhere, I think. I'm just going to let them know that I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to... Excuse me, I have to act up. I'm going to go totally work on uh, stealing things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to follow him out. Because <laughs> you're still invisible. Yeah. yeah. At some point, I'm going to have to survive this fight or get knocked out. Um, I, you are hardier than most of the individuals right. here, so unless you pick a fight with the oh, guys no. in black, you're fine. No, you were just, yeah, you definitely, at the it's local a, it, yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, and the, the, at some point, the bouncers are like, um, buddy, it's, it's time for you to go. All right, I give each of the bouncers a gold and Thanks. let them escort me. All right, they they escort you to the and door, they and then you don't off on your throw own. you out. They just walk you out. So yeah, they don't throw you out. Um, so uh, Nickus orders two more beers, and yeah. then he um, he says road beers, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And um, as you're <sighs> drinking, uh, you're a sigh behind just... you. <laughs> you um, you walk probably uh, a block and a half to a, a shop that has um, has uh, gear guts inventions above the, the door. And he says, this is me shop. Oh. And he lo- unlocks the door. Um, and inside there are a bunch of clockworks and there are also like, there's a giant drafting table with designs and stuff on it. And he says, I've, it's been a long time since I, since, um, my island was destroyed. Thankfully, I was away um, on a pilgrimage, and I wasn't there when the tides came through. Um, and I've tried to make a living the only way I know how here. Um, and That's just a little bit more than the law will allow. Uh, absolutely. Well, I mean, there's not a lot of law here, but if there were... <laughs> I'm making my way oh, the only way I know oh, how. Yeah. Um, so we'll go ahead and turn off the bar fight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just in a shop. <laughs> He's got bar fire robots. Yeah. So, God, um, great. so why don't you make a perception check? Yeah, absolutely. As you're looking around his shop. Well, I'm going to look around as well. Okay. Yes. Uh, at what point do you become visible? How long? An is hour. It? An hour. Okay. okay. Seventeen. <laughs> right. Until you attack. Until so I attack or cast a spell, see, or just um, You see a number of like clockwork um, devices that are fairly—they're like children's toys. Yeah. Like, um, but then you also see, see that there is um, a, uh, a blueprint for like a tube with like this kind of um, like rolling pedestal that it sits on and then there's like a fuse that's coming out of one side of it Hmm. Um, and he's like oh that's just something that you know some of the pirate lords asked me to work on some stuff for them Um, yeah really yeah but what does it do Ah, damage it does lots of damage Um, you know Gond taught his followers the faithful as you would know the secrets of black powder and uh, I have managed to... Fazago, slightly out of character, goes, I've often had a wet dream about black powder cannons <laughs> on a ship. I mean, yeah, I, I try to I call to this avoid. a cannon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's named after a girl that I loved. Oh. <laughs> Do not so, want to meet cannon. Yeah. The half orc. She was an explosive woman. <laughs> yeah. Just destroyed... This poor gnome. <laughs> so, uh, what are you trying to get out of? Uh, so, I'll be like, Pirate Lord, you've done 
you've done work for the pirate lords before? Yeah, yeah. That's serious here work. Here and there. Yeah, it is. You know, they don't. Hmm. They don't typically um, like uh, me talking about the work that I've done for them. But um, you know, I I was able to install a vault door um, here and there, and um, I've done work for for people. A vault door, and I'll, I'll like fake perk and I'll be like, can I be honest with you? The project I'm working on right now is, uh, well, <laughs> it's, um, uh, and he's going to pretend to be super nervous, but inside he's fucking rocking this. Yeah. Absolutely. And he's going to come up and he's going to like just grab random clockwork bits and try to make like a tumbler. Okay. He's like, I've been trying to work on, it's like a tumbler, but it rotates on a schedule. So that way when, uh, you know, the end of a shift or something it's a terrible idea yeah but it's like that totally terrible idea like the kid who just got a school who thinks he's gonna yeah, make the next iphone gonna, yeah. and he makes a shake wake um <laughs> but, there's actually that app now for your phone yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's just the workout you know um yeah but so yeah. um why don't you make a deception check? yeah oh yeah you uh, did a better workout with 128 28 um, so he, you get the sense that he thinks that your idea is terrible, yeah. um, and that um, he's willing to talk about his work uh, yeah. because Volgram didn't pay him exactly what he was owed. Mm. Um, so he says uh, he tells you that um, the door itself um, is a, it's a. Basically, what what you would think of as a keypad, and then if you press the numbers in at a certain point, then that allows the lever to unlock the uh, the door, and the vault door swings open. I mean, how often can you change that? I mean, that's oh, I don't think you can. Um, hmm. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I have a backdoor code. Oh, just in case he tried to screw you on payment, or yeah, it sounds like. You know, it was helpful because he did. So, um, yeah. Oh, that's good. Mine like a trap, I bet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm only 300. Yeah. Oh, well, you're still spry. Young. This <laughs> 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 so is like trying to do like no math in his head. He's like, that's, you're in your early years of life. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no and I'll, I'll, sit there and I'll be like, does he know about the backdoor code? Because that seems like a tricky oh, maker's not. mark. No, I would not tell him that. Do you... <laughs> He'll like go to tell like a really bad numbers joke that he uh -huh. uses to remember like a random code that he goes and he's yeah. not like, do you ever come up with little rhymes? Because otherwise I can never quite remember them. He says, lad, listen, you seem like you want to knock over Vulgrim's vault. And, we, and, and, and Misago like goes, <laughs> Misago's like going up, and like everything drops. He's like, honestly, I was wondering when you're gonna bring it. Up. <laughs> I was running out of things to come up. Like who? An automatic lock? What? You know. Yeah. Um, so he he says, listen, I'm willing to give you the code mm. um, and my secrecy mm. for some money. Hmm. Okay. Shoot, I just gave two gold to those bouncers. <laughs> so, um, at this point, uh, he has a number in mind, and yeah. he's he. You get the sense that he's willing to uh, hear what your opening okay. bid is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a uh, persuasion check. Okay. And essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start. Like talking about like the numbers I'm thinking of and lowball it quite a bit. Sure. Um, and then do you want to make an insight check? To sure, I'll do an insight check. Maybe see what check. the ballpark is. Yeah. Uh, that is thirteen. Okay. Um, you get the sense that this type of information would be fairly valuable, um, and he's looking in the realm of fifty to a hundred gold pieces. Mm -hmm. um, 50 yeah. to 100. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to try and talk him to 30. Okay. And with that, also not mention that he keeps backdoor codes uh, to the pirate sure. lords for who might he want to work for in the future. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> what did you get? That's a natural one, which oh. means that my deception is only a 10. 
or I'm sorry, my persuasion, persuasion. is only an eight. Okay, so um, you get the sense that he is holding strong to. He says, you know that what? So your offer is like what? Thirty gold? Yeah. Um, but you wanted to lowball it, so you're like what? Yeah. 20, 20, 25. Five, I mean, yeah. we've we've all seen comic book men. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he's like seventy-five gold. Uh, I'll knock 25 gold pieces off the, the price. What do you think? You get a message in your head from, mm -hmm. I'm across the room whispering to him. Okay. Mm -hmm. How much for the cannon information? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, Craig's like, I like, I like, I like this. Mm -hmm. However, the part about the wet dream was not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, cannon stuff. If we were to put a package deal here, because I like you. You he says, cannons aren't cheap, my friend. Yeah. If, you're if you're balking at 75 gold pieces, I doubt you can afford a cannon. I, do I can't. I have friends okay. who are interested in making deals. And maybe we can make this a better deal if I set you up with some people who might have enough money to throw around to want to outfit maybe a small ship or an island. Okay. <laughs> well, why don't you make a persuasion? Yeah. To get some island, oh, some can of okay. ice. Same thing. Oh, same. Twice in a row. Um, he says, "Listen, final offer, future business, mm -hmm. and fifty gold pieces, and the code is yours." All right. Well, how do I know this code is going to be good? You have my word. Okay. <laughs> As a backstabbing gnomish <laughs> <laughs> What this does is it releases a trap over the vault door that <laughs> locks you in. <laughs> that locks you in. <laughs> and then he's like, my normal fee of 100 <laughs> gold. I, I that another group. Another one every time they why come you, up. Why don't you make an insight? That's yeah. hilarious. It's like, what a good gig for him. <laughs> oh, fucking, this dice needs to be put in dice jail. Uh, that's a four. Uh, he's hard to read. Yeah. You don't, you don't have any... Real. Even I got a real. 20. <laughs> um, you get the sense that he hates Volgrim enough just for the... He has talked money with, with uh, Vizago now a little bit. And you get the sense that a deal is a deal to him. And the fact yeah. that he would put a gig together and not get paid what he's owed just because the other party is a fire giant might stick in his craw a little bit. Um, I just reach back. Deal. Deal. And I'll give him the 50 gold because I actually do have that much okay. gold on me. So he, they sh you guys <clears throat> shake hands and he says, okay, you ready to write this down? <laughs> One. <laughs> two. Three. Four. Are you same. fucking kidding me? <laughs> it's the I same mean, combination no, as my luggage. Yeah. Can't save it. No <laughs> one would ever try. <laughs> it's the perfect plan. Yeah. I always change was waiting the, for like the one, the combination two, of my luggage. three, five. <laughs> oh! Oh, so you're rude. <laughs> so he's given you the code. Um, you guys have somewhat of a plan. Um, we are approaching uh, 8.30, yep. and I think... We have a good stopping point. Uh, we will continue with this next week. Uh, for those who are wondering why we're missing some players, uh, Doug, uh, who plays Xenos, couldn't make it tonight. Um, so we thought we would advance uh, Aaron's storyline a little bit, um, and hopefully we can get Aaron caught up with the rest of the group. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, there we go. Right. Thanks, everybody. Have a nice night. Thanks we'll see you next Thanks, week. Everybody.